Pokemon Scarlet and Violet came out about three months ago. And if you're like me, they're some of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. But not only have I beat the game once, I've beaten the game four separate times. I've completed the Pokedex four separate times. Two times in Violet, two times in Scarlet. There are so many great and new Pokemon in the Paldean Pokedex, I didn't want to be confined to just six Pokemon in my playthroughs. So today we're going to go over my four teams on my four separate playthroughs. On my first playthrough, which is my main Violet playthrough, I went in blind. I really didn't look at the Pokedex beforehand because I didn't really want any spoilers. I wanted to play the game and be surprised with the Pokemon that I found. I knew Bisharp had an evolution that was the absolute utmost Pokemon I wanted on my team, and I ended up getting him later in the game. But otherwise, it's a pretty diverse team. I started with Fae Coco. Fae Coco is probably one of my favorite starters of all time. I loved Fire Ghost and the signature move Torch Song that raises your special attack every time you use it. It's just an absolutely fantastic move. Any game that I know Gardevoir is in, she's going to be on my team. Not just because of all the things people say about her and thinks she's attractive as a Pokemon, whatever, stuff like that. No. I love Gardevoir since Generation 3 when I was able to catch her routes on the early routes just like Wally did. And then she got better when she got the fairy typing. And it's a staple on every playthrough team I have the first time I play through a generation. Next, we have Mudsdale. Mudsdale is... Almost tied for my favorite ground Pokemon of all time. Very close with Garchomp, but with the stamina ability, it's really hard to beat. It's a Pokemon you can get earlier in the game. When I saw it, when I saw Mudbray, I'm like, thank God. Yes, I want this Pokemon on my team. Grounded and Electric are my favorite types, and that will lead us to the next Pokemon. I've always wanted an Electric Fighting Pokemon, and finally we got one with Palmot. It's great. You can get Palmy on the earlier routes. It has some great moves. And it's finally the typing that I've been waiting for this whole time. I really wasn't paying attention to base stat totals when going through the first playthrough. I just wanted, okay, I want this Pokemon. Let's see how it is, and I'll play through the game with it. And next, we get to the Pokemon that I was most waiting for, King Gamut. Before I go any further, I want to note that you see a lot of Shinies here in my party. I did not get these Pokemon Shiny on the playthrough itself. I found them afterwards, and then I just replaced my old Pokemon in the team with the shiny ones. King Gambit, what can I say about it? I actually changed its ability from Supreme Overlord to Defiant because I use it in raids a lot, but it's a Dark Steel Pokemon. He has great stats, and it's my favorite shiny of all time because I love the color blue. So this was definitely worth the wait, and I try to stay away from looking up things online to determine how you have to evolve something. I couldn't do that. I had to check out how to uh, evolve Bisharp online. And thank God I did, because it's really not something you'd be able to figure out just playing through it yourself. And last but not least, we have Clawitzer. I'm going to be honest. A lot of times I pick Gyarados, Azumarill. You'll see those later on in different teams. But I wanted something completely different and one I've never played with before on my first playthrough here. So I picked Clawitzer. His ability is great, and he has a pretty solid special attack, and it's a water Pokemon that I never used before. So this team was great for beating the game. I've upgraded it and put, you know, some Paradox Pokemon in there too, but this is just the six original Pokemon I beat the game with, and this is only playthrough one. And here we are on my second playthrough, which is my first Scarlet playthrough. Now, a lot of these Pokemon, you will notice being from other generations, but they're Pokemon I haven't necessarily played with in previous games. I started with Quackable. Water Fighting's a pretty good typing. He has the hidden ability Moxie, but honestly, he's probably my least favorite starter of this generation. He's not a bad Pokemon, don't get me wrong. I just like Meowskarada and Skeleturge better. Grimmsnarl is a Pokemon I've always wanted to play with, but never had in the Galar region. So I played with it this time through. Dark Fairy is pretty good typing, and I think he looks really cool as well. Then we have Armourouge. The two Rouge or Ledge Pokemon, Armourouge and Strewledge, are probably two of the most iconic Pokemon you're going to find in any generation. And I played with one, each of them once in one of these playthroughs, as you'll see later. I love this Pokemon. Fire Psychic's a great typing. It would just be a lot better if it can learn Nasty Plot. If it could learn Nasty Plot, it would be broken. Then we have Garchomp, which is, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I've used Garchomp on so many playthroughs before, but I wanted a ground type and I wanted a dragon type, and he's available pretty early. Then we have Golden Go. His ability, good as gold. Status conditions don't work against him. He's amazing in raids. He's amazing in competitive. 
Steel Ghost is an amazing typing, and honestly, it doesn't take you that long to get all the chests if you know where the chests are at. You can look it up online, and you can have a golden go pretty early before you face the Elite Four or do any other challenges at the end. Just go get the chest, evolve, uh, gimme ghoul, and you're good to go. He's one of my favorites in this generation is too. And then Toxtricity. I've loved this Pokemon for the longest time. Electric is one of my favorite types. Poison is, yeah, I'm kind of okay about Poison, but I wanted Toxtricity on my team because he looks cool and I never played with him when I played Sword and Shield. So that finishes up my first Scarlet playthrough. And here we are with my second Violet playthrough. Now, three of these Pokemon are Pokemon from previous generations that I've played with before, but I really like them. One of them got a buff, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But three of these Pokemon are brand new Pokemon. I wanted to complete the starter trio, so I played with Meowskarada. Grass Dark is not a very good defensive typing, but she's a pretty good offensive Pokemon. Her hidden ability is Proteon, which was honestly nerfed. Instead of changing your type before every attack you use, it can only change its type once per battle. Same with Cinderace and Libero and Greninja in Proteon. She's still a good Pokemon. She has high speed and Flower Trick is a great move. Next is my favorite Pokemon of this playthrough. Easily my favorite Pokemon of this playthrough, Cerulege. Cerulege is far superior to Armourouge. In my opinion, Armourouge is still a good Pokemon because Cerulege can learn Sword Dance, Swords Dance, which is a double boosting move. And she has Bitter Blade, which recovers 50% health. She's an absolute must to have if you like to do raids and stuff like that. Azumarill is another Pokemon that's huge for raids. Water Fairy is a great typing, and you have huge power. I love Azumarill the way it is, even though I played with it before. I, I needed a water type on this team, and this was, it. this was it. Then we have Glamora. Now, I always want a ground type on my playthrough teams. So, as I was playing the game, I actually turned Glamora's Terra type into a ground type. Once I got and progressed later in the game, I turned it back to rock, but I wanted a ground type, so I turned its uh, Terra type to ground. Great Pokemon. Its ability that spreads Toxic Spice with being hit is amazing, and when La Primera or Gita used this Pokemon, I wanted to try it out. Rock Poison, I never really used a rock type on my team before, like ever. I don't think they're very good, but this Pokemon was fun to use. Then we have Gallade, and the reason Gallade is so important to me. One, False Swipe, Thunder Wave, it's a Pokedex completer. Two, in this generation, he got a buff. The Sharpness ability increases slicing moves by 50%. And the great thing about all these slicing moves is they're in his move set. You don't have to teach him these moves. As soon as you evolve into Gallade, go through his move set, he has all these moves. He's getting half stab on all of these slicing moves. Make sure that, I've gone through this before, make sure your routes or Curlia have Trace. Uh, and when it evolves with Trace, it turns into Sharpness. But Glade uh, with Sharpness, it's a broken Pokemon. And then Magnezone. I needed a Steel type. I needed an Electric type. I needed my coverage against Water and stuff like that. And Magnezone is probably a Pokemon I've played with through playthroughs uh, quite a few times. But like I said, I needed these two typings. And he's fun to play with. He can help in raids early on. It's not really a competitive Pokemon, but like I said, I needed Electric to complete the team. So this was my second Violet team. I enjoyed this team. Probably not as not much as some of the other teams, but there we go. This is Violet playthrough two. And here we are with my fourth playthrough, my final playthrough. I just completed a couple days ago. It's Scarlet the second time through, and this is my favorite team out of all the other teams that I played with. Out of all the other four teams, this is my favorite. There are five brand new Pokemon in this team. The only one that isn't new is Gastrodon, and ironically, I've never played with a Gastrodon in any of the generations before. Now, before I start playing through a playthrough, I usually make a list of the types of Pokemon that I want, and I try to make sure I get every one of the types. I don't like crisscross Mitch matches, which is why in Team 1, I didn't have a Nilip in Team 1, even though I wanted them, because I had a Ghost type with Skeleturge. I didn't care about that this generation. I just double up on the ghost type and then I wanted a water type and a ground type and I was thinking man, I, I usually play with Gyarados what am I gonna do I'll pick Gastrodon doesn't have a very high base stat total but it's a great Pokemon through a playthrough so we have Skeleturge who I've mentioned previously I think the best starter in this generation then we get to Annihilate the ghost fighting type Pokemon Rage Fist is an amazing move I always played with Primeape in red uh, yellow and blue when I was younger so to have him finally get that evolution and to be pretty iconic, that's great. And out of all the 24 Pokemon I used and all of my playthroughs, 
absolute favorite Pokemon is the regional pseudo-legendary Baxcalibur. It's a dragon ice type. I usually don't play with ice type unless I'm choosing Mamosime somewhere, and he's the, and he's very, very powerful. I mean, 600 base stat total. We all know he's powerful, but of all 24 Pokemon I've used, he is my first first favorite out of all them that I used, and then it's he's ahead of Cerule Edge by just a little bit. Then we have Kilowattro, what I consider the regional bird, even though it's not really caught in an early route. It's the first bird that's from the Paldean Pokedex. I needed my electric typing. I love electric. And it has the bonus of having the flying type. It's really fast. It's not going to help you tremendously in raids. It has some... It can be used somewhat in the competitive scene if you use it with a rain team. Uh, then we have Gastrodon, Water Ground. I originally was like, okay, I, I want a ground Pokemon. I want a water Pokemon. Uh, I, I'll choose Gyarados, which I usually choose. Do I want to do that? And I'm like, no, I, I need to combine the two. So I pick Gastrodon. And then my Fairy and Steel type, Tinkaton. When you look at all of the generations, in each generation, there's a Pokemon that you can, a few Pokemon that you can pick out and you go, okay, that, that Pokemon's going to be remembered in future generations. Tinkaton, Cerule Edge, and Baxcalibur are those Pokemon. The Pokedex entries with Tinkaton are amazing. Fairy Steel is an absolutely bonkers defensive typing and gigaton hammer what more can i say about it so out of all though this is the six pokemon for this team and it's my favorite team of all the playthroughs that i did and let me tell you playing through the paldean pokedex playing through paldea scarlet and violet it is so much fun i never want it to end which is why in future videos you know i've played the game for probably around 607 hours total i'm going to show you what i've accomplished in all those six seven hundred hours uh, show you my raid teams, what I'm working on competitive. In other words, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this. If you like this video, please like the video. Please subscribe. Leave comments in the comment section. That helps a lot and be prepared for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.